Take out a sheet of paper and divide it into two columns. On one side, please write the word and part of speech. On the other side, please write the definition and any helpful examples. Please pause the video anytime if you feel that I am going too fast. The first word for this week is censure. Censure is a verb referring to the action of expressing severe disapproval of someone or something. For instance, a judge was censured for several instances of misguided conduct. Being censured, their colleagues looked down and disapproved of those actions. Next is aspire. Aspire is a verb referring to the action of directing one's hopes or ambitions toward achieving something, whether that something is a goal or an objective. Aspire is not to be confused with inspire, although it is very easy to become inspired and then aspire to be like that individual. For instance, when you lead by example, other people will aspire to be like you. Incontestable. Incontestable is an adjective describing that which cannot be argued or that which is emphatically true. When you hear incontestable, think without contest or no contest. It cannot be argued. For instance, the friends' devotion to one another was incontestable. They always stuck together. Philosophic. Philosophic is an adjective describing that which pertains to the investigation of truths and principles of being, knowledge, or conduct. Philosophic is used to describe that which pertains to philosophy in general. For instance, he enjoyed conversations that were deep and philosophic in nature. Derive. Derive is a verb, which means to stem from something. Derive can also refer to this action of concocting an idea or plan. For instance, you can derive benefit from an elective procedure, but it may be better to wait a little while before having it done. Sublime. Sublime is an adjective describing that which is of such excellence, such grandeur, or such beauty as to inspire great admiration or awe. For example, Mozart is especially known for his sublime piano concertos, which still continue to move audiences today. Quite opposite of sublime is diabolical. Diabolical is an adjective describing that which belongs to or is so evil as to recall the devil in terms of morality or language or image. Diabolical is very much related to the phrase diabolo, which is a reference to the devil. For instance, his diabolical plan to hide the truth backfired and he ended up having to be honest after all. Measured. Measured is an adjective that, while sometimes is used to describe something that has had its dimensions determined in some sort of way, measured can also refer to having a slow or regular rhythm. Think of measured as a measure of music. There is a beat, there is a rhythm. For instance, the valedictorian preparing to make his speech walked with confident, measured steps toward the podium. Immutable. Immutable is an adjective describing that which is unchanging over time or is simply unable to be changed. For instance, one immutable fact of life is if it can happen, it will happen. Next is memoir. A memoir is a noun referring to an historical account or biography 
written from personal knowledge. A memoir is very similar to an autobiography, but think of memoir more so as an excerpt of that long autobiography. A memoir is more about the moment in someone's life rather than the whole entirety of someone's life being recorded. For instance, in 1924, she published a short memoir of her husband and his illustrious career. Taste. Taste is a noun that, more than just the sense itself, refers to a person's liking of something in particular. For instance, this dolce de leche pudding is too sweet for my taste as I prefer milder flavors. Authentic. Authentic is an adjective describing that which has been proven to be true or proven to be genuine. For instance, the vase the collector believed to be authentic turned out, unfortunately, to be a fake. Esteemed. Esteemed is an adjective describing someone or something that is respected or admired. For example, the hard-working, conscientious young woman embodied many of the qualities that are esteemed by managers. Felicity. Felicity is a noun referring to the feeling of intense happiness. For example, the couple hoped to live in domestic felicity for the rest of their lives. And finally, recourse. Recourse is a noun referring to a source of help in a difficult situation. For instance, if her health does not improve soon, surgery may be the only recourse. <laughs>